Um, first, Charlie, is the hair flip? Is that is that your thing now? <laughs> Thing. You know, I, I just asked my teammate, like I asked her, does it look like I do it on purpose? I really don't know that I do it now. So I guess that's that's my thing now because I really don't even pay attention to it. Um, you know, obviously, you know, you're going to get your, you know, your pub for the 30 to 19. But I'm kind of wondering, what were your impressions of the way Kyra played, especially in that second quarter? Um, yeah, sprees you had with all those threes. You know, when you have a point guard that goes, was it six, five assists and no turnovers? Like, you couldn't ask for anything more. You know, it's like playing with Suge all over again. You know, I love playing with Kyra. She just knows how to get to the basket. She knows where the open person is. She's just a great player, and she played really good tonight. She had six rebounds, you know, as a point guard. And Coach, you know, stressed, you know, having three people to the boards. And me, Kyra, and Celeste, you know, we did well on the boards tonight. So it was just great having us all show up tonight and play the way that we did. That was kind of my follow-up question was, you had a veteran point guard your first two years here on campus. You know, how important is it for you, this team, to have someone like Kyra who's, you know, had her battles and can come in and, you know, lead this team? You know, it's good because she's been through it all, literally, you know, fifth-year veteran. Um, it's just great having that maturity on the team, you know, coach stress having a leader. I feel like Kyra is a great leader for our team, you know. Uh, she runs her offense really well. She knows the you know, defense that we need to be in. She's just a great player to be around. And even on and off the court, she's just a, you know, a great team player. You couldn't ask for anybody better. Go ahead, Taylor. Hey, Charlie. Um, last game against Tech, you had 13 points, didn't shoot it very well. Tonight you have 30 points. What was the difference from last game to tonight or last meeting to tonight? Uh, I feel like just... You know, in that game, we didn't play well. You know, I'm just going to be honest. We didn't play well as a team. Uh, tonight we showed up, and it had a lot to do with our inside game. You know, we got a lot of pain points. Uh, the bigs, you know, we played well tonight. Uh, our guards were hitting shots. Uh, we were just doing really well. You know, our press was really well in the second quarter. We got a lot of momentum there. Second half, not so much, but we really did good uh, defensively, and I feel like that was the difference uh, between this game and last game. We didn't give them a lot of transition points. Go ahead, John. Oh, Charlie, I don't think any, I mean, talking about that last game, I don't think anybody thought y'all would lose that one. I know you don't dwell on the past. I t asked Kyra about it, but are you kind of kicking yourselves a little bit knowing that this is what should have happened in that game and, and how you keep it, keep it going? Yeah, you know, I always talk about having short memory, you know, uh, but that's one of those games you're like, you know, man, you, you know you should have won because of how hard we practice and how hard we work in the prep that we had prior to the game. Um, so coming out tonight, getting that revenge and getting that win really, you know, helped us and gave us confidence, you know, that we can, we can beat anybody in this league if we just play the way that we do all the time and know how to do. And I, I, what's, how do you guys fix the, the road issues? I mean, you've had some, some troubles on the road. You, you're about to hit the road. What, do you, what mindset do you have to have so we don't see another Oklahoma State or Texas Tech? Yeah, it, we just got to fix it. You know, at this point, it's like, you know, what else can you do? You know, Coach asked, you know, what, what do you want me to do? That's what he asked him. So it's really on us. It's really on us. We're on the road. It shouldn't be anything different. You know, we're going to Oklahoma, not too far off the road. Uh, we just got to come and play basketball like how we know how to play. Play tonight. And I always talk about the Iowa State game because I feel like that was our best game of the season. Just playing Texas women's basketball. I feel like that's all we can do. We can't change a thing. Uh, got to continue to hit shots and play really good defense. Thanks. All right, Danny. Uh, on, I guess it was in his post game presser on Wednesday, Vic said he was going to win practice on Friday. So I'm wondering what was practice like for this team and what do you feel you guys addressed and did that carry over into the game tonight? Yeah, uh, that practice, you're talking about that practice after Oklahoma State? Yeah. Yeah, um, wasn't too happy about it. Uh, wasn't too happy. So, you know, of course, practice was hard. You know, how it was supposed to. I expected it to be hard because we, you know, we lost. And so just coming into that practice, we had a different mindset. I feel like everybody was on the same page. We practiced hard and we felt like, you know, we had to get this win because, you know, they beat us on the road. And so just coming in and having that focus that I felt like everybody was was bought in into the practice and uh, we got it done. We even watched film on our own, you know, that next day on our off day, we came in and watched film, got the team together and uh, we were prepared for this. Go ahead, Taylor. That second. Second quarter, you guys kind of really set the tone for the rest of the game. Um, I mean, you guys looked great. How do you feel? How did you feel about y'all's level of play? 
Uh, I feel like that was our best quarter. You know, our second quarter was our best quarter. Um, defensively, you know, we were getting stops. We were getting a lot of steals. We were up in the press, getting steals in the press. I even had a steal, which is shocking. <laughs> so it was just really good having all five players playing really good defense because that led, that fed into our offense. And so um, I felt like our second half could have been better coming out the gates, but that second quarter really set the tone. Go ahead, John. Charlie, we were talking to uh, Kyra a little while ago and I asked her about you and what, what amazes her about you. Um, she said, you, you play like a pro's pro, you carry yourself at a high level in, in every aspect. Where does that come from and, and what pushes you to kind of be that, I guess, leader now on this team? Uh, I just think having a mindset of a, of a pro always helps. Either if you, you're going or not, I feel like a uh, coach always says, play like a pro, just be a pro. Um, that goes with what you do off the court, how you carry yourself, how you social media, you know, how you how you talk to the press. How do you it's just a way that you would want a little girl to see you as a role model. I feel like every basketball player should have that mindset whenever you step in front of the light, when you step in front of the court and you're playing against people. Or you should always have that mindset of um, who's watching you because you never know who's watching you. And at the same time, you want to carry yourself as an adult, as a mature player. And I feel like uh, just me being in the position that I am right now with the platform that I have, I have to be um, at that level. I have to be at the level as a pro. And Kyra knows, you know, she's a veteran um, and she knows what it takes. And I feel like me and her do a good job of being a leaders for this team. Thanks for your time tonight, Charlie. I appreciate you guys. Welcome.